I'm Mary Kay Callahan, and I've been an endurance athlete for as long as I can remember. I've been using a racing wheelchair since I was eight years old, and over the course of those many years, I've come to realize fundamental techniques that are crucial, whether you're just a beginner or aiming to take on a marathon. Let's take a look at some of those techniques together. First and foremost, it's vital to ensure that your racing chair is properly fitted to your body measurements. The decision to kneel or sit in a racing wheelchair depends on several factors, including personal preference, physical ability, and the type of racing you are participating in. Kneeling lowers your center of gravity, improves aerodynamics, and can potentially lead to more power. On the other hand, sitting can reduce strain, increase comfort, and be less physically demanding. When you're out on a run, here are a few things you can practice. The most common hand position is palms in technique, where you place your palms inward towards your body while gripping the push rooms. This position allows you to engage your shoulder and back muscles, generating more power with each push. Many athletes find it beneficial to wear specialized gloves with rubberized palms to enhance their grip and prevent slippage. Starting and stopping are essential skills, not only for optimizing performance, but also for ensuring safety. To get the wheels turning, use the push start method. This involves propelling the wheelchair forward by placing your hands on the push rim and generating enough force to accelerate from a standstill. To stop your racing chair, practice your de-acceleration process. I recommend using your wheelchair racing gloves to apply pressure on the push rims in the opposite direction, enabling you to slow down gradually. Effective turning and maneuvering are vital for navigating curves, corners, and obstacles. One common turning technique is called tight cornering where you lean your upper body towards the inside of the turn while pushing forcefully on the corresponding push rim. This helps maintain balance and reduces the risk of tipping over during sharp turns. For wider corners, you may use a swing turn technique, where you swing your arms in a more sweeping motion to execute the turn smoothly. Remember, mastering these racing wheelchair techniques takes practice and dedication. Experiment with different approaches to find what works best for you. With time and persistence, you can improve your performance and enjoy the thrill of racing on wheels. Happy racing!